and I'm from Kama Road Municipal English Medium School. Today I'm going to teach you mathematics and uh, the topic name is addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. Okay. So here is my screen. Can you see my screen, sir? So children, let me start with a few questions first. Here you can see a table in which few shaded diagrams are given. So you just have to read the fraction uh, for unshaded region as well as for shaded region. Okay. So here in the first uh, diagram, you can see that total eight parts are made and three parts are red in color, which are shaded. So that fraction is represented as this. And it, this fraction is read as three upon eight, correct? And similarly for unshaded fraction, I mean the fractions which are the parts which are not shaded, these are five parts. So unshaded fraction is read as five upon eight, right? So the total number of parts always comes in the denominator. Now you know it, you have already learned it in fourth standard. So I want you to uh, read the, this, I mean the fractions for these two diagrams. So just raise your hand, you know how to raise a hand. Okay. I want fraction for shaded region. Yes, Meghna. Sir, uh, please unmute her. Yeah. Yes, Meghna. Four upon four. Four upon four. Okay. How many total parts are there? Ha, so what will come in the denominator then? Denominator, teacher. Okay, now tell me the fraction again. What will four be the fraction? Wait, wait. Yes, Meghna, four upon? On eight. Correct, very good. It is four upon eight. It is read as four upon eight. Now I want someone else to read the fraction for unshaded region. Yes. Four upon eight. Correct. Very good. So, see, four parts in this figure are shaded. Four parts in this figure are unshaded. Very good. Nice. So, let us move on to the next uh, figure. Yes. Two upon three. Two upon three. Okay. How many total parts do you see in this figure? Five. Okay, so how come you said 2 upon 3? What will be the correct fraction? 2 upon 5. Very good. Very good. 2 upon 5. Very good. Now, yes, somebody else try to give the answer for unshaded fraction. Here, what will come in these two boxes? How many parts are not colored? 5 upon 2. Okay. Again, think of it. How many parts are not colored? Three upon five. Very nice. Three upon five. There you go. Very good. Okay. So children, you know how to read the fraction. You know how to read the uh, diagrams. Correct? Now, let us move on. One more question to you all. What are the different types of fractions? Tell me the basic types you know. Yes. Who will tell me the different types of fractions? Come on. Think of it. What are the three basic types of fractions? Come on, children. Teacher. Yes. Like fraction, unlike oh. fraction, okay. proper, pro, proper fraction. Yes. Proper fraction. Huh? Okay. See, like uh, like fraction and uh, unlike fractions are based on the denominator, right? So the three basic types of fractions you said two correctly. So those three types are first one is proper fraction, in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator, right? 
The second type is improper fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator or both may be same. It may be 8 upon 8, it may be 3 upon 3. So that those fractions comes in the improper fraction. And the last type is mixed fraction. It is a mixture of whole number and a proper fraction. So, okay. so uh, whole number and proper fractions are given together. So these are the three basic types of fractions. You know this. Let us move on. Let us actually come to our today's topic. Addition of unlike fractions. Now before that, you know uh, these type of fractions. By looking at the denominator, what do you think? What kind of fractions are these? Yes, children? Yes, give me your answer. By looking at the denominator, what type of fractions are these? So, please unmute them. Plus. No, no, no. I am asking that. Okay, listen. Like fraction. Uh, like fraction, yes. So, uh, because the denominator is common here, so these are like fractions. Now, I want, if we add these two fractions, what do we get? 5 upon 8. Very nice. Yes, so the answer here is 5 upon five 8. Upon. We'll see one more example. 2 upon 5 plus 7 upon 5 is equal to. Yes, children? 9 upon 5. Upon five. Come again. 9, nine upon, upon 5. Yes, 9 upon 5. Very good. So here, the denominators are common, right? So it mm. makes us very easy to calculate the uh, fraction, right? Because the denominators are common. So this is nothing but the addition of like fractions. Now, what to do when the denominators are different? Like this. See, 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Here, both the denominators are different. In the first fraction, it is 4. In the second fraction, is it is 2. How to add these fractions then? We'll see the diagrammatical representation for the first figure. First fraction, it is given as this. And for the second fraction, it is given as this. Now, if we add these two diagrams, we get this. Correct? So first part, second part, and third part. So directly our answer comes 3 by 4. Now with the help of a diagram, we could easily calculate it, right? But what to do if diagrammatical representation uh, is not there? Okay, without a diagrammatical representation, can we do the calculation of fractions with unlike denominators? Yes. So we'll see how to do this calculation again without a representation of a diagram. So here comes 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is equal to what? We have to find out. We'll keep this uh, diagrammatical representation aside. Now see children, here, as in, uh, as in addition of like fractions, we uh, know that the denominators are common. So it is very easy. So here also we have to make it easy for us. So how to make it easy? We will create a common denominator, correct? Now, you have learned how to find the common denominator. You need to find LCM of the denominators. So, you see, you know how to find LCM, right? Now, you know all the things. So, you know the different denominators in the given example. You know what is LCM, that is least common multiple. And you know how to find LCM. Correct? Great. That's a great thing. Okay, so let us have this, uh, let us implement this in our example. So here the two different denominators are 4 and 2. Now you know that 4 is twice 2, correct? 4 is a double of 2. So we need to multiply the second fraction by 2. Now while multiplication, we will multiply the numerator as well as the denominator to create its equivalent fraction, right children? So the Next step is 1 by 4 as it is plus what will be the second fraction then? Here, after, after multiplication by 2 to the numerator and denominator, what will be this fraction? Who will tell me? Yes? 1 to the 2, 2 upon a 4. 
very good two upon four nice okay so here you just have to add the numerators now because see you converted this unlike fractions into like fractions by creating a common denominator so then the next step you know it very well so that is adding the numerators so 1 by 2 is three equal to correct yes 3 upon 4 which we saw in the diagrammatical representation also so here you understand that it is not always necessary to do a diagram Right. We can do it by creating a common denominator. Right, children? So, let us have a few more examples. 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3. Okay, children. Now, we have to find out this. Now, by looking at these denominators, uh, do you see any connection between these two numbers? Yes, children? No, teacher. No? Um, yes. Ha, yes. Then let me know what is the connection. Odd and even. Hai. Okay. Which one is odd and which one is even? Odd. Ayat, these uh, both the numbers are odd. Okay, they are not even. They are not formed in pairs. Okay, so. 5 and 3, both are odd numbers. But that is not a connection I am looking for. See, 5 and 3 are prime numbers. Okay? Uh, they do not have any factors rather than 1 and itself. So, see, by uh, look at the denominators first. They both are common and we have to create a common denominator. So, we need to find the LCM of those numbers. So, what is the LCM here when the numbers are prime? The LCM is their product. Product means we have to multiply 5 and 3 to find out the LCM, LCM of these two numbers because they are prime numbers. Okay, So here, 2 upon 5 uh, will multiply the first fraction by 3 to create its product at the denominator. That is 15. Okay, Plus, we'll multiply the second fraction by 5. Okay, children. So, now who will tell me the next step? Yes, children. I want you to tell me the next step. Yes. 6 upon 15. Very good. That is the first uh, fraction. Eight, right? Yes. 6 upon 15 plus. What will be the next fraction? 5 upon 15. Correct. 5 upon 15. Now, you have converted these unlike fractions into like fractions. Now, there is a common denominator, which is 15. Correct. Now, just add the numerators. That is 6 plus 5 upon 15. Now, what will be our answer? Yes, children. What will be our answer? 15. Okay, just add the uh, numerators and let me know. 6 plus 5 upon 15. How much? 11 upon 15. 11 upon 15. Very good. Yes, correct. So, when we added these two unlike fractions, we got answer is equal to 11 upon 15. Okay, children? Let's see one more example. 4 upon 7 plus 1 upon 21 is equal to. Now, look at the denominators first. They are different. Now, what to do now? You tell me. How to create a common denominator? What can we do to create a common denominator? Do you see any connection between 7 and 21? Mm. Yes. Yes. Tell me that. Yes. Do you see any connection between 7 and 21? Table a teacher. Correct. The 21 number comes in the table of 7, which is, I mean, the 21 is multiple of 7. So, we will 
multiply the first fraction by three by uh, multiplying by three to the numerator as well as to the denominator plus one upon 21, correct? So it becomes four into three, 12 upon seven into three, 21 plus one upon 21, correct? Now we converted these unlike fractions into like fractions. We created a common denominator, very good. Now the next fraction is, next step is, you just have to add the numerators. 12 plus one upon 21. What is the answer? 13 upon 21. Very good, 13 upon 21. 21. Good job, yes, 13 upon 21. So children, now you have learned how to do the addition, right? If you uh, know how to do the addition of unlike fractions and it is, not going to be difficult to do the subtraction of unlike fractions. It is easy. It will be easy for you all. So let us see how to do the uh, subtraction of unlike fractions. Okay. Okay. Now before that, you already know 3 upon 8 minus 2 upon 8. These are uh, like fractions. You know how to do the subtraction of? Yes. Very good. One upon eight. Yes. So the subtraction of these like fraction, the answer we get is one upon eight. Correct. Now, one more example. Nine upon five minus two upon five. What will you get? Ten yes. upon five. Ten, Ten upon, upon five. five. Yes. Very good. So you know it because the denominators here are common which is very easy to calculate, right? But what to do when the denominators are different? So like in the addition, uh, we did uh, by creating a common denominator. Similarly, we also have to create a common denominator here. If the diff uh, here, see, in this example, the denominators are different, right? So subtracting fractions is easy when you create a common denominator. So you already know how to create a common denominator. You have learned, we saw a few examples in addition, right children? So we will try to solve these, this example by creating a common denominator. Now see children, yes. Now here, if you look at the denominators, you understand that 20 is twice 10, right? So we will, Create a common denominator by multiplying the first fraction with 2. So 3 into 2 upon 10 into 2, right? Minus 1 upon 20. So we multi uh, mute, your, mute your mic, children. So it is 3 into 2, that is 6 upon 20 minus 1 upon 20, right? Now we created a common denominator here. Now you just have to subtract the numerators, 6 minus 1 upon, write the denominator as it is, 20. So 6 minus 1 upon 20. Tell me, yes. Prachi. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes, give me the answer. Yes. Uh, six minus one. Upon 20, how much? Yes, Prachi. Six minus one. How much is six minus one, Prachi? Hello, Prachi. Ha, teacher. How much is six minus one? Five. Five, correct. So what will be the fraction here then? Five, uh, five upon 20. Yes, five upon 20. Right, now mute your mic. Okay, see, now here in subtraction also, 
the denominators were different we created a common denominator to make this sum easy right once we make the denominators common it is very easy to calculate but you should know how to make a common denominator so you have to find the lcm you have to find the connection between the denominators and then it will be very easy to find it so once we calculate once we find the denominator common denominator then it's easy to calculate so here the answer is 5 upon 20 we'll see one more example 4 upon 6 minus 3 upon 5 now do not forget to look at the denominators ha huh? 6 and 5 if they are different we have to create a common denominator now 5 here is not a fraction uh, not a factor of 6 even 6 is not, not a factor of 5 so we need to find the lcm of these two numbers so just think of the multiples what are the multiples of 6 who will tell me the multiples of 6 yes children who will tell me the multiples of 6 Yes. Can you say the table of six? I want the table of six. Yes, children. Two. Table of six. I want multiples of six. Yes. Six. Huh? Six one the six six two okay. twelve six three the eighteen six four the twenty four six five the thirty six. Yes. Six five the thirty, not thirty six. Okay. So now now wait. Okay. Six. These are the multiples. Whatever numbers comes in the table of six, no, they are multiples of six. Okay. So six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four, and thirty. they are multiples of 6 now i want multiples of 5 yes who's turn now i want the 5 5 to the 10 5 3 the 15 5 6 the 20 5 4 the 25 five, five, the 25 5 6 the 30 okay that's it wait now now okay now mute your mic now which is the common number do you see in these two uh sets of multiples one number is common which is that number in both the sets in the multiples of 6 and in the multiples of 5 one number is common i want that number yes simi simi which is the common number yes children sir please unmute her yes simi tell me which is the common number do you see in these two sets yes 30 very good so 30 is the common number which is the small so this is the smallest common multiple so we will use it in our example we have to create a common denominator that is equal to 30 so we need to multiply the first fraction by 5 and we need to multiply the second fraction by 6 by 6 so that it will yes so that it will create a common denominator here we just now saw that the smallest common multiple in the two sets was 30 that's why we multiplied here by 5 and 6 respectively so what will come here yes i want answer from you children tell me 4 by the 20 Yes. Five the thirty. So how will you? Okay, I want that fraction, whole fraction, twenty. Twenty upon a thirty. 
Very good. Twenty upon thirty. Yes. Now, what will be the next fraction? Twenty upon thirty minus how much? Six three is eighteen. Five six is thirty. Read that fraction now. Twenty upon thirty. Again, again, again. Just wait. Three six is eighteen, teacher. Yes. Five six is thirty upon thirty. Yes, three six are eighteen upon thirty. I want it is eighteen upon thirty. Yes. Now very good. We have created a common denominator that is thirty. So now what is the next step? Who will tell me? Yes. Two upon thirty. Uh, before the uh, final answer, I want one step. What is the? Uh, I mean, what will be the next step before you write the final answer? Twenty minus. Twenty minus eighteen. Yes, twenty minus eighteen upon thirty. Correct. Do not forget to tell the denominator. Upon eighteen, teacher. When the denominators are common, we just add or subtract the numerators, and denominator we write as it is. Correct. So do not forget. Whenever you read a fraction, you have to tell the denominator. So twenty minus eighteen is two upon thirty. Very good. Yes, correct. Okay. So you know now. Let us have one more example based on subtraction. Now it is six uh, upon fourteen minus two upon seven. Six upon fourteen minus two upon seven is equal to. Now you tell me. Yes. Teacher, seven. What to do? But my fourteen आता है. Yes. So fourteen is a multiple of seven, right? Fourteen is twice seven. So we need to multiply this fraction by two, correct? So six minus fourteen. Sorry, six upon fourteen minus. Two into two upon seven into two, right? We multiplied here this fraction by two, so that we get a common denominator equal to fourteen. Six upon fourteen minus two into two. How much? Four upon four upon four upon fourteen. Yes. Four upon fourteen. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Be confident. Yes. Four upon fourteen. Correct. Now, I want the next step. Come on, children. Someone else. I want someone else to give the answer. The same child is giving answer. One. Two upon fourteen. Six minus four. Two. Six minus four. Upon. Four. Fourteen. Yes. Six minus four upon fourteen. Two upon a fourteen. Correct. Two upon fourteen. So here you get your final answer. That is two upon fourteen. Right, children. Now, just wait. Okay. We'll have. Uh, Before uh, I, I mean, I want to give you some homework. But before giving the homework, I want to share your textbook with you all, so that we will uh, cover one extra topic also. Okay. Now see here, children. A fraction of a collection and a multiple of a fraction. We have to learn this now, huh? See here, the sets of dots you see, right? these are total 20 dots and they are given in one uh, i mean five in one row okay here in this row there are five here in this row there are five this five and here also five so it is a set of 20 dots collection of 20 dots now we have to find the one fourth part one fourth of one fourth part of that 20 dots so what we are going to do 
one four of twenty. Okay. See that shaded region. I mean the colored dots. Colored dots are nothing but a one fourth part of that twenty dots. So one four of twenty is equal to five. So how to find that? We will divide the total numbers of dots by the denominator. Okay. See here in the fraction, the first one, the numerator which is one, it tells us that it is only a first part, only a one part. Of that dots and four gives us that uh, I mean there are four sets, so it comes twenty dots. So one by four of twenty is equal to five. So twenty, if you divide it by four, you get five dots. So that is the collection of uh, I mean one part from the collection of twenty dots. Now if you see this example, see here. It is also very easy. One by two, or half of a collection. Half, you know, uh, when we say half, when there are two parts and we want only one part, then we, uh, at that time we say that it's a half of the part, right? So one half of a collection of twenty dots. See here, total twenty dots are given. Diagrammatic representation given is given to make it easy. Okay, so these are shaded parts, and these are unshaded parts. Means the half of the part is shaded, and half of the part is not shaded, right? So one upon two of twenty, half of twenty, how much half of twenty? Ten. It is given here. So twenty divided by two. How to find? We divide the total number of, uh, I mean, total number of the dots by the denominator to find out that perfect number. Okay. Half of a collection means from the collection we have to find the number. So with the help of the denominator, we um, uh, divide it the uh, total number of the dots. We'll see one example. Yes. Now here, see three upon four of a collection of twenty dots. Three upon four of a collection of twenty dots. Now here, three parts, huh? We have to show the three parts. There are total four parts. Twenty dots are converted into into four parts. So we have to, um, yeah, we have to give the uh, number for three parts from that collection. So here you can see that three rows of the dots are colored here, and only single row is not colored, which is the fourth part. So three upon four is nothing but one by four plus one by four. Plus one by four, okay. So, what we are going to do? We will divide this twenty by numerator, okay. So once we divide the numerator, we get it's equal to five. Means we get the numbers in the first row. हमें, okay. So we get the numbers in the first row, right? So the, but we have to calculate it for the three rows. So five dots in the first row. So how many dots in the third row? Three rows. There are five dots in the first row. So how many dots will be there in the three rows? You can see the answer. Just tell me. I want it from you. See, there are five dots in one row. How many dots in three rows? Yes, children. Fifteen. Correct. Fifteen dots. Okay, so fifteen is nothing but the three by four of a collection of twenty dots. So you need to find out the perfect number with the help of fraction given uh, for a particular collection of dots or anything. Okay, now here, see, twice five is ten. As you all know, you know the table of five. Two times five yes. is nothing but ten. Correct. Now in the yes. first row, five dots are there. On the second row, five dots are there. So two rows of five balls each. So twice five is ten. Now you tell me, twice six is how much? Come on, children. Twice five is ten. Twice six is how much? Twelve. Correct. So this way you have to find the collection. 
okay you need to find the perfect number with the help of a collection given so as it is given here twice 5 is 10 twice 6 is 12 here now half times of 10 half times of 10 okay so half times means to the 10 we will multiply it by half okay means what this 2 will divide this 10 we are multiplying the number 10 by the fraction that is 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 of 10 is nothing but 5 you know it it's very simple so this is nothing but how to find out the fraction from the collection of dots okay now see this thrice 5 thrice 5 means 3 times 5 now tell me 3 times 5 how much 15 15 now tell me 3 times 9 is how much thrice 9 how much is thrice 9 yes 27 very good yes 27 so with the help of a diagram you can easily find it out and whenever uh, you have been asked to find out the perfect number with the collection of the things you will understand it you need to find it out then 1/3 times of 15 yes children now see ha huh? 1/3 means only one part from the 15 so we will multiply by this fraction to 15 so 15 into 1 by 3 is equal to 5 this is 3 and this 3 will uh, Uh, divide this fifteen. As you know, three fives are fifteen. Sorry, three five. Yes, three fives are fifteen. Is a fifteen. Yes. So in the first row we get five. In one row, not in the first row. In one row each we get five dots each. So one upon three times of fifteen is five. Yes. Now. the last example here see 2 upon 3 times 15 2 upon 3 times 15 means in 15 there are three parts of five dots each correct so we have to take two parts only so two parts of 15 is nothing but 10 dots total right so 2 upon 3 of 15 we will multiply this fraction with 15 So three will divide the fifteen, and we will we will get here five. So five twos are ten. Why five? Because five dots are present in each row. So two parts, which means first part five dots and second part five dots, it equals to ten uh, dots, right? So two upon three times fifteen is nothing but ten. Okay, children. So this is the way. you find out um yes ha huh. so a fraction of a collection is find uh, we find out it in this way so this is the collection of some things is given and you need to find it out by given fraction okay children now there is some homework for you all the first topic we learnt was uh, addition and subtraction of unlike fraction so but today's homework is based on that only So your first homework is solve problem set twenty two from your mathematics textbook. Okay, so it is based on addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. You, if you know how to do the addition of unlike fractions, subtraction will be very easy. It is same, just we have to create a common denominator. We have to create like yeah. fractions. Convert unlike fractions into like fractions. Right. So solve that problem set twenty two, and one more. 
homework listen to fraction songs on youtube just search fraction songs and there are a uh, lot of songs present on youtube uh, which will uh, i mean it will create interest uh, in fractions okay so these are very nice songs you just uh, visit youtube and listen to the fraction song so that's it for today children uh, thank you so much for attending the lectures and you were enthusiastic in today's lecture okay thank you teacher thank you so much yes thank you